model. That's probably going to be the most power, uh, popular, so I gave, gave you guys lots of room here. And uh, both sides, both sides of the Xerox sheet, it's essentially my lecture, really. Uh, all these parts, you know, uh, the neck to re pedal, C full, stamen, ovule, stigma style, right? There's the anther sac, filament, developing pollen grains. So it should reinforce the lecture. Number two, remember we had that lecture at Tinomorphic, regular dicot, that's a stone crop. Ten stamens, five petals, five sepals, good monocot, <laughs> good dicot numbers, fives. Everything's in fivesies. Okay, see the five, you even got five pistols, that's unusual. And it's the yellow guy right here, they're all in order, okay? You see, you see the five pistols? And I think I took off this part here so you can see the seeds inside, several seeds. Okay, and then we have the, be careful, this one full of parts, so I'm trying to pull things off of it. Uh, the uh, number three is the zygomorphic uh, bilaterally symmetrical flower. Okay, I took off one of the uh, wings there, so you can see the folded keel. There's one plane of symmetry, there's little peas inside the ovary. Okay, and then finally, number four is the monica flower. That's tulip. That's a sepal. How do I know? It's on the outside. That's a petal. So sepal, petal, sepal, petal. Three of each, good monocot numbers. Uh, six stamens, uh, six times two, three times two is six. And the uh, one, you can see three, uh, three uh, blue stamens there. There we go, uh, trilobed uh, ovary, it's tricarpalate compound. Those are the seeds inside. Okay, now let's get to the slides. Now I know I have five and six. Five are, we have the apple flower here, you can take a look at the models. And six is the uh, rye grass with the glooms and lemas and the stamen sticking out. But I don't have any slides of that. Number seven, seven like I said, number seven is a, uh, is a lily flower. And uh, we're running a little short, so just one flower bud for every two people. So for every two people, the lily flowers are in this preservative. They are huge, okay? Don't need no stinking microscope. Just pull it out with your bare hand, put it on a piece of paper, and open it up. You'll see six stamens, you'll see a pistol. I mean, the pistol is like about three inches, three and a half inches big, so it's huge. All right, now our first slide actually is number eight. And this is a flower bud through lily. Here you can see the trilobed uh, style. And the anther sacs, these are sepals and petals. That they all look like leaves, because they are. Okay. But uh, look in the anther sacs under 10X, and you can see the pollen grains with how many? Two nuclei. Uh, generative nucleus and a tube nucleus. Uh, the generative nucleus will make two sperm after pollination. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now, the next three are a unit. Next three are a unit. Number nine, superior ovary, hypogenous flower. See all the stuff is attached where? At the base of the flower. See, see the tomato seeds? Okay, obvious. So uh, the o superior ovary, hypogenous flower. Then for epigenous, number 10, we have apple. Here's some seeds, <coughs> but you see how all the stuff is attached where? On top of the ovary, so it's an inferior ovary, right? And then the weird one, number 11, periginous, there's a floral cup that actually goes around, you know, in and out of the blackboard here of this uh, uh, cherry. And here's the pit or the one developing seed inside. So everything is attached here at, uh, around the lip of the cup, you see. And here's the nice style and stigma. Floral cup is good enough. Okay, then we have one more photocopy for you to get, and that's over here. Okay, it's a uh, 11 sequence thing of the development of the female gametophyte. That's number 12. There's the first three models. There's a nice ovule. Okay, that's one. A megasporocyte. I'm going to go meiosis. What do you get from meiosis? Four. Three of them die. This guy, a megaspore enlarges a little bit. There's 11 models, okay. Uh, division one, division two, okay, uh, of my 
mitosis, I should say. And then division three. So how many cells do we have? Eight. Eight. Okay. Remember what they are? Three antipodals, two polars, two synergies, and an A. And finally, the last one puts it all together for you. There it is, the embryo sac, the female gametophyte. There's a nice pollen tube that's yellow, coming down, coming down, through the micropyle to fertilize the egg. How many integuments? One, two, one, two. Micropyle, ovule. The base there, the whole big thing is the ovary. The whole slide is one pistol. Okay, back to slides again, huh? Number uh, 13. Now, you're going to have four, four cross-section ovaries on your slide times six ovules. So you got 24 ovules. Of the 24, how many are good? Uh, if you're lucky, maybe three, maybe only two. So garbage, garbage, garbage. These all look like garbage. Is there one with one cell somewhere? I can't. They all look bad. Well, that one doesn't look too bad. Higher power. There we go. I was right there. See? That's the megasporocyte or megaspore mother cell. Okay, now the next one is also an uh, ovary of lily. It says eight nucleate sac. Consider yourself lucky if you can see three. Extraordinarily lucky if you can see four. Uh, there's a couple good ones only here. So hunt around. Uh, one, two, I see about, that's awfully fuzzy to me. Okay. Is that better? No. Okay, I see maybe one, two, three. Uh, one, two, maybe three. One, definitely two. That's with a blue filter. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next project. Uh, which I forget, what is it, 19? That was not a rhetorical question. I was expecting an answer. What number is that? Uh, number 15. Number 15. Okay, that's very, very light. And people say, oh yeah, I see the tetrads. One, two, three, four. No, those are four chambers. The tetrads are the little dots inside. Go to higher power. All right, that's 10x. Here's the tetras inside, kind of light. 40x, you're going to have to hunt around. Usually you're going to see, you know, twosies or threes, but a shadow, but right here I got one. One, two, three, four. Four microspores. See the wall? Okay, a beautiful tetra there. Okay, most of yours are going to look like this. You know, you're lucky if you see two, maybe a shadow, the third. Well, hunt around, you might find one with four. Microspore stuck together. Okay, this one is easy to do. This one is 16. That's 4x power. So you can see the long tubes. How do they get those things to germinate on the last slide? Put a little drop of table sugar. You see pollen grain? See the long pollen tube? Okay. Uh, the black stuff may be nuclei. Okay. Okay, now we have a developmental sequence. They go together. 17, 18, 19. This is the pericarp, fruit coat. See, it's triangular in shepherd's purse. These are the seeds with embryos inside. Most of them are garbage. You have to hunt around till you find a decent one. Uh, here's a decent one. There you go, see? A ball and a stick. That's a very, very young pro-embryo. Okay, and uh, that's one seed. Uh, there's 40x power, kind of dark though. A uh, ball and a stick. Okay, the next one is the same thing. Shepherd's purse, 18. Pericarp. See, I uh, got fruit coat. See the seeds? Most of them are crap. But here's a real good one. Why? Because I can see the developing cotyledons. Shepherd's purse is a dicot. One, two cotyledons. Hypocotyl, radical. Seed coat. Okay, then the last one, number 19, same thing. Peri, I don't, it is a pericarp wall. Most of these are, are junk. Hunt around till you find a good one. Then go to 10x power. That's pretty dang good. Uh, let's see. 